Today, much of this economic soundness has been disrupted. COVID-19 pandemic, the invasion of Ukraine, have presented the world with the most significant set of challenges since World War II. And now on the back of these two crises, coupled with other long-term trends, the world faces pervasive challenges which will likely slow growth and create significant difficulties for leaders around the globe for some time to come. With a rubble, cost of living crisis affecting us, all of us, and rising inflation and decline in real wages continuing to impact the vulnerable hardest, the need, and back to him, for creativity and effective policy solution is even more urgent. In Ghana, fiscal slippages led to the loss of assets to the international monetary market, compelling the government to borrow from the domestic market and once again seek credit support from the IMF. This decision with its associated conditionalities brought a lot of economic challenges to the private sector in 2022. Credit to the private sector reduced significantly by 14.5% in 2022 compared to 1.3% in 2021 and countries to worsen and continues to worsen since the beginning of 2023. Overall, growth of the economy declined from 5.1% in 2021 to 3.1% in 2022 and is expected to slow down further to 1.5% by the end of 2023 and remain depressed in 2024 given the current challenges the private sector is grappling. But we hope we will not get there we we'll work with government to make sure that we, 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 are, we are moving forward.